Okay, firepower threat defense 622. We're going to look at uh, uh, lookups using geos, URLs, and who is. Uh, so fairly quick video here. Uh, go to analysis, do a lookup. Uh, here we'll select geo uh, location first. Here we can put a list of IP addresses that we have. And hit search. And now we get you know the list of IPs, the countries, uh, country code. And we can export this quickly off into... A CF, CSV and then share this with other teams if we need to, right? Or insert it into a report um, that we're building. So let's clear this. Let's go to URLs. And again, we can put a list of URLs. But one thing to note here, when you put the list in and you don't have uh, Query Cisco for unknown URLs, uh, you get this error. So let's go to uh, very quickly to integrations. So we want to query Cisco uh, as security intelligence for unknown URLs. So let's enable that, hit save, and let's give it a try again. So analysis, look up URLs. Let's put that list back in. Let's do a search. And here we get the uh, categories of them, obviously the reputation as well. Um, and again, we can export this into uh, an Excel spreadsheet uh, or CSV format and uh, share it with uh, the appropriate teams or include it in any one of our reports. Again, there's lots of ways of looking at this data. Um, so here we'll do a who is, for example, uh, and we can do this within the platform and other places, but let's assume maybe you've got some intelligence for something else and you just wanted to look up this information. Um, you can just use this tool for that lookup. Um, so very quickly, we know, uh, you know, all the details around that IP address, who we may need to contact, etc. cetera. Um, from there, we'll uh, just quickly do another one. Uh, and this one will be uh, from Russia. And, uh, and again, we get the details that, that we are looking for. Again, we can use this in, in uh, other tools, reports, etc. Um, but it's fairly easy, right? A couple of clicks uh, and we're getting good insight into, you know, the who is information, the URLs, as well as geolocation.